guys, how are y'all? Another beer video. I got a Hopworks Urban Brewery, aka Hub beer this time. Uh, morning vibes, man. Today is Sunday. I did. It's obviously not morning. You can't see outside. I mean, I guess it could be very early morning, but it is not morning. It's actually kind of late. It's like 7 p.m. I spent all day doing yard work, man. I am freaking drained. Uh, morning vibes is a 9% Imperial Latte Stout, and Hub actually makes. I think all of their beers that they brew are organic. Um, that's just a cool thing about them. I think that's like their own, their own niche or whatever. Um, but um, yeah, let's get this into a glass, man. And uh, I am in pajamas and glasses because it's nighttime and this will be my nightcap. And my allergies are killing me. I'm not sure why. Let's get a pour on this. And the glass is dirty. I've been drinking out of it. Um, but let's uh, get a pour and see what it looks like, smells like, and tastes like. But my allergies have been killing me. That's, which is weird because I spent all day outside uh, cutting grass, mowing the lawn, uh, trimming trees and whatnot. Holy crap, that is that is a beautiful looking beer, man. Jesus. Um, I'll get back to my story in a bit, but I poured with about two fingers of like this, I would say darkened and milk chocolate, very fluffy, very creamy looking hair, man. Thing is freaking crazy looking. It is freaking nice, man. It is nice. It is completely pitch black. Putting it to the light, I mean, you see some trace of like uh, reddish brown on the outside, but it's primarily black. Um, the head, though, the head is very amazing on this, man. It is still there. It's still about almost two fingers of head. It is retaining that uh, head, man. It is crazy. Let's get the nose on this, and I'll get back to my story. Um, I actually can't smell out of my left nostril, so. Bear with me here. <sighs> Definitely a lot of coffee, man. I forgot to mention, this is brewed with Nasa Familia coffee. Not very familiar with that um, brand of coffee or whatever it is, coffee manufacturer, but it smells damn good, man. It is like straight coffee. Some dark chocolate in there, of course. It, those two usually always go hand in hand. Some cocoa or cacao. The coffee note on this is crazy strong. It is, it is some serious stuff, and I'm not a coffee connoisseur by any means. I don't even. I don't. I drink coffee pretty much just like as a, a social thing, like a social coffee. How you know people have social cigarettes or social smoking? I I drink coffee as like a social thing, like, you know, work, whatever. I'm not getting a whole lot on this. I mean, I'm getting slight vanilla, some caramel, but the, the coffee is just like, it's such a huge coffee smell that it kind of takes over everything. Anyways, just give it a taste. Cheers. Solid, dude, solid. Oh man. It was freaking good. Oh my god. So first off, you get a ton, a ton of coffee, but it's not it's not like this huge bittering of coffee. Like you know you drink black coffee and it's like this very well to me, I don't drink black coffee. I mean every now and then I do, but black coffee to me is like super bitter, um, very coffee of course. This is similar to that, but the bitterness is toned way down. You get some dark chocolate, you get cacao, you get, and then you, the surprising thing to me is, I totally did not think you were gonna get milk chocolate in this. You definitely get that milk chocolate sweetness, creaminess, it really blends everything together. Like, it just ties everything together so well. Cause I feel like if it was just like, ah, phone sound vibrating. I feel like if it was just coffee and dark chocolate bitterness, It'll get old really fast, but with that sweetness of milk chocolate, it totally makes this work. It, it is so, it is freaking good. Latte style is, it's, it's, I'm glad they named the style or they advertised the style as a latte style because this is seriously what it tastes. It tastes like a freaking latte, dude. Uh, perfect blood of sweetness, coffee, and uh, that coffee bitterness and dark chocolate. Everything is just like, and I'm talking, and it's like I just took a sip of coffee. You know, when you take, when you drink coffee and you're talking, you get that like residual coffee smell and taste. 
That is exactly what I'm getting right now. And it's freaking, it is good, dude. And I've had a lot of hot beers um, just because uh, I used to live very close to there, work by there. So, I, I mean, I used to frequent that place a lot. And this is definitely one of their best beers I've ever had from them, hands down, for sure. Um, quickly, I'm going to finish my story. Uh, not really a story, just wanted to finish what I started with. I was outside all day mowing the grass, cutting trees, trimming trees, which is a pain in the ass, by the way. Um, jumping into bushes and stuff, no allergies whatsoever. I come inside and literally 30 minutes after I take a shower, I'm like, my nose is ready, my eyes are itch, I have to take my contacts. Um, yeah, it was just bad, and it's still bad. Actually, this beer cleared up my left nostril, so I'm not sure what the correlation is, but I'm gonna continue drinking this, man. Um, this was Hubs, let me try to remember the name. Morning Vibes, man, that name is cool as shit, too. Morning Vibes, man, just good vibes. Anyways, 9% Imperial Latte Stout by Hub. Uh, Hot Works Urban Brewery Hub for short. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comments, leave them below. Subscribe for more videos, man. And as always, dream big dreams and believe all things are possible. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Hmm. And the mouthfeel on this is solid too. It's not super thick, but it's definitely creamy. Anyways, cheers. Thanks for watching.